uh, that is the, the the CEO, the director, yes. the manager, the boss. <laughs> Gasti.com, Gasti design, design, design and printing. Thank yes. you so much for blessing the for ministry blessing once again yes. uh, with these beautiful gifts Amen. this morning. Uh, Sandra says, uh, we are up and grateful for the gift of life. So far, so good. The Lord has been uh, uh, so good. Amen. Unachi says, still on the right track, still serving Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only two people are serving the Lord this morning. I see. Well, where's the rest of us? Are you still born again? <laughs> or are you just right there in the background, you know, checking the where's believers, Fifi? the born again? Where's Fifi? Born again believers do Where their is thing. Where's Isabella? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ma Maria says we're good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We just need some feedback this morning. <laughs> you know, it's it's important that we we just uh, touch base with you and we know that you're still on the straight and the narrow. I think you must greet Kobisa's mom. She's watching this uh, morning. Praise God. Mm. Uh, Mama, thank you uh, even yes. for the for the great uh, tea that you've served us yesterday. Uh, the Lord bless you. And the waffle. <laughs> oh, she made us some good she waffles She made yesterday. us some good waffles yesterday. Mwah. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, mommy. Mama. Uh, yesterday for uh, <laughs> welcoming us in your in your house yesterday. Yes. Uh, bless you, bless you. Yes. Uh, stand up <laughs> the way. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come on, Amen. believers. Where's the rest of us? I want to see them comments, man. Are you born again this morning? Are you still in love? with the lover of your soul, Let's post Jesus the fire. Christ. If you're still on fire, Come post on the fire. Come on post now. the we, fire. We, we, we got to stir up that fire. Hallelujah. The Bible says, fan the flame. Hallelujah. Fan that flame. This mm. Are you still in love with oh, Jesus? Your first you. love. Mm. Unati says, I have decided to follow Jesus. No, no turning, turning back. back. That's Absolutely. what I want to see. Absolutely. I want to hear. God. Hallelujah. Come on. There's no return. There is there is no going back. There's Yvonne with the flames right there. Hallelujah. Come on now, Sandra. Yvonne the flames are fire. going. We are Hallelujah. on fire for Jesus this yes. morning. We are in love with the Christ, the Messiah. Amen. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God this morning. <laughs> I'm so in love with Jesus this morning. No, he is I so faithful. I am so in love with the, the Lord. Among us say, still on fire. Praise. Keep it real, though. There we go. Keep Palisa it real. as well just uh, uh, dropped uh, some flames there. We are on fire for Jesus. Mohumi and Bahumi's mom. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get it right, Pastor Pinky. Yeah, yeah. I think we got it right. I think. I don't think Bahumi, so. Bahumi, Mohumi. Mohumi and yeah. Bahumi. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. So, people of God, we're going to get into... Thank Amen. you for your participation, Amen. first and foremost. Mm. Thank you for participating, Amen. even as we will be going through the word of the Lord. Let us participate uh, and be active throughout the stream Hallelujah. this morning. Yes. So, please do take some friends, some family members, some colleagues this morning. We will be getting into a powerful subject, Amen. a firm foundation. Amen. And as believers, all of us need... Need a firm foundation. foundation. We gotta build Amen. on the rock. Amen. We gotta build on the cheap cornerstone, Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. And the Bible, G Jesus said, upon this rock, Hallelujah. Yes. I will build, build my, my church, church. And, the, and the gates of hell will not prevail will not against prevail it. against it. Amen. Therefore, Jesus was saying on the faith that Peter professed, oh, yes. I will build. My church. Upon the faith that Peter professed. So this morning, Hallelujah. we have faith in Jesus Christ. Mm. And our faith is growing higher and higher. Hallelujah. Our faith in the Lord is growing stronger and, and stronger. stronger. Hallelujah. Mm. Therefore, we must build on firm foundation, foundation. this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited. But I want to lay a foundation as well. Talking about firm foundation. Mm -hmm. Let me lay a foundation. Lay a foundation. Let me lay a foundation. I want to give us an example. You know, most of you might know this, the Tower of Pisa. Or Pisa. How, however Pita. however you, you pronounce it. You know, it's, it's called the Leaning Tower mm. of Pisa in, in Italy. Yes. And the reason the Tower of Pisa, the Leaning, the leaning Tower of Pisa is leaning, it is because... It was built on mushy ground. Mm. It was not solid. Mm. And with every year passing, mm. it was, it was, you know, it was just leaning over and over and over. Mm. It was gonna fall. But mm. we know that there has been some recent uh, 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 um, work done on the leaning tower of Pisa to try and keep it standing. But the reality is because the foundation mm. was never right. From the beginning, mm. it was now called the Leaning Tower of Pisa because now it's standing like this. 
and we are not going to follow that example today. No. We are not going to be Christians that are leaning, but we got to walk straight. We got to build on the right foundation, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. therefore, this morning, I hope you are ready to get into the word of the Lord. And I want Pastor Pinky to just uh, open up uh, in, in scripture for us mm -hmm. from the book of Matthew. I believe it's chapter 7, verse 24. Yes. To 27. Amen. Uh, Matthew 7 from verse 24 to 27. Um, the heading reads as follows. Build on the rock. Yeah. That's the heading. Yeah. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him mm. to a wise man who built his house on the rock. Yeah. 25. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, mm. and it did not fall, mm. for it was founded on the rock. Yeah. Verse 26, but everyone who hears the sayings of mine mm. and does not do them will be like a foolish man sure. who built his house mm. on the sand. Verse 27, and the rain descended, the floods came, sure. and the wind blew mm. and beat on that house, mm. and it fell, and great was its fall. Yeah. Amen. Great was the fall mm. of the mm. house mm. that was mm. built on the sand. Mm. It had no firm foundation. The rain descended. Shaky ground on sand. Sure. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Hallelujah. for the reading of his word. The Bible mm. says that the, 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 about, about the word of God, mm. that the, the flowers fade, yes. the grass withers, but the word of our God Remain. shall stand forever. Amen. Therefore, even this morning, I believe the Lord is um, speaking to us today as believers, Amen. that even moving forward in our relationship with him, mm. we must be build on firm foundation. foundation. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Now, the passage we've just read this morning, Pastor Pinky, right now, it is about two builders who build two houses on two different Amen. types Amen. of foundations. And they both have two different results. Two different foundations, two different Result. Now, in this tale of two builders, Jesus teaches us that the foundation upon which we build the house of our lives is of the most is 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 of utmost importance. The foundation and the house of our lives. When we build the house of our lives, how we are going to live this way, how we're going to live out our Christianity, we must make sure that yeah. we build right. Right. Build. Right. Mm. If the foundation is never right, great will be the fall according oh, yes. to the word of yes. God. So let us be solid, people of God. Let us be uh, 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 galvanize this thing. Let us yes. be strong in our foundation mm. this morning. Hallelujah. I want to point out some elements, uh, Pastor Pinky, yes. of this parable that show us why the foundation of your life matters. Yes. Why the foundation of your life matters. Now, let's notice these, these elements uh, this morning. Uh, we, we're going to consider the comparisons that Jesus made uh, uh, between the two builders. Both of them, they heard the words of Christ. Yes. The two people in this parable both heard Jesus share his message of faith and repentance. Yes. In verse 24 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. Thus, both people uh, referenced in this parable, they knew the way of salvation. Yes. They knew the, the way, way of, of salvation. salvation. They both heard Amen. the same message. Yeah. Now, how we interpret that message is important. Yes. How we apply the word of God upon our lives Amen. is important. important. Amen. They both heard the gospel mm -hmm. and each one had to react to mm -hmm. what they have heard. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, 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 
you know, faith comes by hearing, hearing and hearing by the, the word, the word of, God. of God. Amen. Therefore, as you hear the gospel every mm. day, as you hear the gospel, come into church every mm. Sunday, mm. build on the word of God. Amen. Apply the word Amen. of God in your life. Amen. And build on this solid ground. foundation, Amen. solid ground yes. that we are talking about. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. And this morning, if we are loving on Jesus Christ, Whatever he tells us to do, we do it. Hallelujah. We don't question him. All about he knows what is best for Amen. us. Amen. Therefore, Amen. build on the chief cornerstone. Amen. The stone, the chief cornerstone that the builders rejected. Mm. They rejected the chief yeah. cornerstone. Mm. This morning, I want us to focus our attention. Like yesterday, we said, you know, Jesus must be at the center of everything Amen. that we do in, in, in Christianity. Yes. He must be the center. Hallelujah. Now, these two builders, they both built houses. Yes. Based on their understanding of what Jesus said. Amen. Now, the house in this parable is a picture of life. Mm. So I want you to understand this morning mm -hmm. that when, when, when Jesus is talking about this parable, the mm -hmm. house he's talking about, he's talking about your life, my life. Yes. What are we building on? Mm, your Our life. life. What are we building on? Hallelujah. That's what the parable is actually talking mm, about. Mm. It's not uh, 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 literally being translated to building a house on sand and, and rock. Yeah. But it is, it is the, the house, you know, is, it is likened to our lives, mm. our personal lives. Yes. What are we building mm. on? Mm. If it's not Jesus, yes. if it's not Jesus we are building on, mm. we will have a great fall. Sure. Our houses will have a great fall sure. because Jesus must be the foundation of life. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Jesus, nothing Jesus else. Be at the center of, of it, it all. all. Amen. Be at the center of it all this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, what I like this morning is that you, we see the parable and these two builders, mm. they are both building, you know, in the same place, in the yes. same area, mm. you know, uh, in the same location. Amen. But verse 27 of Matthew chapter 7, it describes a very severe storm. Mm. It describes a very severe storm. Amen. And this storm affected both houses yes so they must have been built in close proximity to one another mm. what i'm trying to say this morning is we all go to church on a sunday morning yes every sunday without fail mm. people of god are going to the house of the lord they hear the word of the lord Mm -hmm. Just like these two builders, mm -hmm. they both heard the word. Yes. They were in the same location, yes. building in close proximity. Mm -hmm. You see, in our lives, from the outside, we can never tell who is applying the yeah. word uh, of God no. to their lives. No. It is only when the great fall comes, you mm -hmm. realize that this person was not building right. Mm -hmm. This person did not have a good foundation when the storms come when, when the, the rain comes come. then when the floods come the fruit the will challenges show. come the fruit, the fruit will, show. will show therefore Amen. it's important people of god mm. as we go to church we don't have another life behind the scenes. True, we true. are on the straight and the narrow. True. We are applying the word of God in our lives true. so that we can build strong. Yes. And I always say You've this in church on Sunday. That this Hallelujah. Weekend, last week. I've Hallelujah. Tried. I've been, I always say this on Sunday mornings. If you want to build right, mm. the foundation. Mm. If you want to build high, the foundation mm. must, must be, be right. solid. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, this picture, Pastor Pinky, of people, it's about people, how they respond differently to the gospel, mm -hmm. or rather the message of the gospel. Just to clarify this, if we can go to the book of 1 Corinthians, maybe go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. If you got your Bibles this morning, let us walk through the text this morning as, as we are uh, breaking open the word of the Lord uh, from the book of 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verse 3 to 4. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 to 4. So Amen. we are talking about people responding to, 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 to the message of the gospel yes. differently. Amen. Let's, let's read that, Pastor Pinky. For I delivered to you first of all, first of all that which I also received. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Verse 4. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. According to, to the, scriptures. the scriptures. Amen. Amen. But mm. listen to, to what the apostle is saying. For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received. Mm. Paul is laying a foundation to yes. the people of God here. Oh, what yes. I receive, I have received Christ. Now I'm also giving you the same thing. I want to build your foundation. I want to give wow. you Jesus Amen. Christ. I, I received him. Yes. I'm standing because I received him. Mm. You want to stand, believer. Make sure Amen. Jesus is the foundation of our relationship, of our walk with him. And that is what we are doing every morning. Amen. Actually. Giving Pastor, Jesus. Giving what people we have Jesus. received. Amen. We also, like, we, we like give to Paul, the people. we give to the people Amen. what we have received. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. So that is the message that must be delivered in order for a person mm. to be saved. Man. That's the message. Mm. I first received Jesus. Mm. Therefore, I give you what I have. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Freely, you have received. Freely, freely give. Give. Amen. Freely give. Mm. The Bible puts it this way in Romans uh, uh, chapter 10, verse 9. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. The Bible puts it in this way. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in, in, in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Salvation is as simple as believing the gospel, Pastor Pinky. Mm. Whenever we hear the word of God, we Amen. are building, we are building our lives upon the rock. Every word that has been preached Monday to Sunday, Monday to Monday, every morning we are coming together. We are making sure that our foundation is solid people of God. Mm. We cannot stand without the word of God. And when I started, I said the Bible uh, uh, mentions that the grass withers, the flowers fades, but the word of God, Amen. it remains forever. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we, we build upon a rock. A rock is not like sand. Amen. You can never compare the two. Amen. The two builders, one build on sand, one build on the rock. The, the, one of the, the powerful qualities of a rock yes. is that a rock never moves. Yes. A rock, if you put it in one place, it yes. will stay there mm. forever. Mm. There are many rocks, you know, since the creation, Amen. since when, when, when God created the earth, mm. they are there. Mm. They are immovable. Yeah. That is the quality of a rock. Amen. That's why we must build upon the, the rock. rock. Hallelujah. Sand moves. Yes. Sands shift. Yes. But it's powerful that this morning we can apply the word of God, Amen. which is the rock, and build a firm foundation. foundation. Hallelujah. I don't know how many times we can talk about this. Open up your Bibles. Read the word. Build yourself up by the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let us, let us look at the, the contrasts. We looked at the comparisons. These guys, uh, they both heard the message of the gospel. Mm. But how they applied the word was different. Yes. One built on sand and another built upon the rock. Mm. But we're going to look at the opposites now. We're going to look at the, the contrast. Yes. What There are similarities of where they were building. They were in one area mm. and so forth. But we're going to look at the opposites right mm. now. There are some very, uh, um, there are major differences between these two types of people who receive the gospel. Amen. Two uh, major differences for people who hear the gospel. Amen. One man built his house on the sand. Mm. That means he built with little preparation. Sure. Because to build upon a rock, you got to dig a little bit deep. Oh, 
Oye. To have a good foundation, you have to dig a little bit deeper. deeper. Mm. Now, the first person here, he, he had little preparation. He didn't, he didn't deem it necessary eh. to do hard work, yes. to labor, and to build a solid foundation. Yes. That's why it was easy for the house to fall. Yes. I want to liken that to us today as believers. If we don't work hard in the kingdom of God, if we don't have a, a, a lifestyle of prayer, if we don't read the word of God, if we don't attend the Sunday morning services, mm. that's the foundation. You want to build strong. Yes. You got to be able to, to toil and to labor for the kingdom of God. Don't count the cost. Don't count the cost. Don't count the be cost. Be able to give yourself fully mm. to the service and for the kingdom of God. Yes. The Bible says when you put your hands to the plow, if you look back, you are not fit for, for the, kingdom the kingdom of God. Of God. Therefore, the Your... kingdom of God requires work. The kingdom of God mm. requires a spiritual backbone. Mm. You got to be a man and a woman that stands and works hard yes. for the kingdom. Yes. We are not passive when it comes no. to the things of the no. kingdom of God. Preach. We are strong in the Lord. And we in have the power of his foundation. might. Hallelujah. We put our hands to On, the plow. Yes. And we don't look back Hallelujah. according to scripture. Amen. That means when we don't look back, when we don't consider the cost of serving Jesus, mm. we are fit for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. Preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Therefore, we must build strong people of God. Now, this one man, we are looking at the contrasts, mm. the differences. One builds on sand without, with, with little preparation. He found just a quick spot and he started uh, uh, building his house. What, what I want to say about the sand is, sand is very unstable. Mm. It is ever changing and moving. Mm. Sand offers no stability. Mm. Sand is not a good place to build a house. Mm. Sand can never provide a firm foundation. Yes. Now, in the context of building this morning, mm. those of you who know a little bit about uh, construction, in the context of building, building on the sand speaks of people who hear the gospel. Yeah. But instead of believing the gospel and coming to faith in Jesus, they believe they can build their lives on the shifting sands of human philosophy. Yeah. Human intellect. Yeah. yeah. Human mm. wisdom. Yeah. You can never, never build in the kingdom of God with your own intellect. No. That's what the scripture is actually talking about. Yes. We are building our lives here. Mm. The house that Jesus is talking about in the parable is our own personal lives. Amen. Therefore, you can never build your mm. own life based on your own wisdom. Yes. Remember, Jesus is the creator. He is the master. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the alpha and the omega. He knows your end from the beginning. So it is important that we apply the word of God in our lives. We were created by him. The Bible says all things were created through him. Mm. Hallelujah. Listen, we belong to Jesus this morning. I want to I want to I want to plead with us this morning. Since he is the master. Since Jesus is our Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. We need to apply the word of God in our lives. Mm. Talking about solid foundation. Therefore, people who are building on sand, those are the ones that, that instead of believing the gospel, they think they can live life using their own wisdom, their own opinions. They are driven by outward religious appearances and faith in themselves. Ah. People who build on the sand, Pastor Pinky, they hear the gospel and choose to save themselves. They don't allow Jesus to save them. You hear the gospel that you are saved by grace through faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Therefore, Jesus is our sin. You can never save yourself. No. So people who build on, the, on, 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 on sand, mm -hmm. they believe that they can save themselves. That's the problem. <laughs> it's impossible. Mm. You need Jesus in your life. Yeah. You need the master to save you this morning. Mm. People who build on sand, 
They hear the gospel and believe it's just a general message. They choose to follow God on their own terms. It, you know, it's the gospel on your own terms. It doesn't work like that. Jesus does not work like that. No. The gospel is not on your own terms. No. We have a master, Jesus Christ. He, we, there's commandments, there's laws, there's, there's, there's statutes that we must follow Amen. and apply Amen. in our lives according to Amen. the word of Amen. the Lord. Amen. Joshua said the following, meditate upon the word of the Lord mm. day and night. Amen. But I love this part when it comes to that book, to, to Joshua chapter 1, mm. verse 8. Mm. We must meditate upon the word, yes. but we must be careful to obey, to obey the, word. the word. We must be careful to mm. obey that is why we must God. not just be hearers of the word. Be doers of the word. doers of the be word. Be doers Amen. of the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Paul, Paul describes this type of person like this. This person that's, that, that, that depends on their own wisdom. People that depend, uh, rather depends on their own strength and abilities. Paul describes them like this in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. Paul says, it, it, these are the people, they have a form of godliness, mm. but deny the power thereof. Mm. There's a form of godliness, but deny the power of it. You know, we, we love Jesus, but Jesus, don't tell us what to do. Jesus, don't tell me to pray. Jesus, don't tell me to read the word. I will call you when I need you. I have a form of godliness, but deny the power of the same God that I'm calling upon. Amen. I call now. It doesn't work like that. Therefore, we don't have a form of godliness. We, we serve Jesus to the fullest. Amen. We are totally giving our lives over to Jesus Christ. Totally surrendered. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People who build on the sand uh, because it is easy. People who build on sand, they build on sand because it is easy. Mm -hmm. There isn't a lot of work to be done. Mm. I like what uh, Unati just uh, yeah. posted, the version, the NLT, the same scripture you, you read just now. Yeah, you can go for They it. will act religious, but they will reject the, the power. power that could uh, make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Yeah. You see, God says stay away yeah. from people like that. Religious. Religious people mm. who will reject the, the power. power. They act religious. They hear the gospel. Yeah. And there's power in the gospel of yeah. Jesus Christ. Power they hear change. the message of salvation. Yeah. But they choose not to. Uh, 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 hear it. They hear it, but to they don't change. hear it. They choose yeah. not to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allow the word to change them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pra praise the Lord. Mm. Praise the Lord. Now we've we've been looking at the qualities of a person that look that builds uh, on, on the sand, but let us look at the other contrast now. Uh, the man that built his house on the rock. Amen. The word rock refers to a large outcropping of rock, mm. the bad rock. Mm. While one man built his house on the sand, the other dug deep. He dug until he reached the bedrock and built his house on the rock. Mm. The rock does not move. Yes. It is unchanging and stable. Mm. The rock offers a good foundation Amen. for a house. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, building on the rock speaks of people who hear the gospel and they believe it to the point that they build their lives on it. Hallelujah. You build your life on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. The rock uh, 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 in these verses is identified as these words of mine. Mm. Jesus. The rock is the gospel. It is the same rock mentioned in Matthew 16, verse 16 to 18. I'm going to read it for us. Uh, uh, it, it reads as follows. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood mm. had not revealed it unto thee. Amen. But my Father which is in heaven, uh, uh, which is in heaven, and I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I say also, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. It is the same rock that is mentioned here mm. today, which is the gospel. Mm. Hallelujah. 
Now, people who build on the rock, they understand that Jesus alone has the power Amen. to save their souls. Amen. People who build on the rock. You know, and, and I love how, how we can tie the scriptures together. Mm. Since Sunday evening, you've been preached, you, you preached Sunday evening about, you know, the man of God, uh, Elijah. Mm. How long, mm. for how long will you limp mm. between two opinions? Amen. Now, people who build upon the rock, they understand that it is only Jesus who can save they are souls. Yes. We don't have any other option. Mm -mm. We have the rock. Mm -mm. We have Jesus Christ Amen. to build upon. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, don't make other plans on the side for salvation. Mm -mm. And, and yesterday I mentioned a scripture, Pastor Pinky. Yes. That the only way to heaven, it is through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In the book of John 14, mm -hmm. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and, and the, life. the life amen hallelujah mm. hallelujah mm. you cannot enter the kingdom mm. unless you have accepted him amen. as your lord and your savior amen. even this morning you want to build your life accept the gospel of jesus receive amen. the message amen. of salvation yes. and build upon the, the rock. rock hallelujah there is no other way to hallelujah. get to heaven the bible says if you come in another way <laughs> you are coming in as a thief as a and thief. a robber <laughs> you must come through jesus through christ jesus yes amen through repentance yes hallelujah mm. hallelujah mm. praise god i just love jesus God has made a way for all of us oh, to have yeah, eternal life yeah. through Jesus Christ. Mm. Come on, accept him this morning. Take his word. Apply the word of God Amen. in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. That was John 14, verse 6. Mm. Jesus, the truth, the way, and the life. Mm. No man come to the Father but by me. By me. Except through mm. me. You cannot come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm just doing my evangelistic work. Uh -huh. I'm preaching salvation. Preach. And, and we must make sure that, as I said earlier, there is no other way that mm. we think we can get to heaven. Yeah. We cannot serve two gods. There's only one true living God. One true living God. That is why people must stop listening to Oprah. Oprah says there's many ways to God. A, th a thousand ways. Stop listening to these people. A thousand, that's what Oprah who, says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop listening to these people. They, they don't even know the word of God. <laughs> they are not even reading. A thousand ways to get to God. There's no thousand wow. ways to God. The word of God says wow. there is only one way. Jesus himself says, <laughs> I am the way. Hallelujah. The truth <laughs> and the life. It's in John 14 uh, verse 6, Hallelujah. like Pastor said. There's Amen. no thousand ways to mm. God. You cannot go to God through slaughtering your goats or through Muhammad or through whatever Allah, whatever worshipping a cow way. no one way those things they are idols they are dead yeah there is only one way to the father and it is through jesus hallelujah. christ thank you that Jesus. is why we are here thank as the you, ministry hallelujah. that is why the ministry is called the way hallelujah because we are here God has sent us to show you the way Hallelujah. to Jesus. And it Hallelujah. is only through Jesus Christ, yes. the way to the Father. Amen. Nothing else. Hallelujah. What we have received, you, like Jesus. Paul said, Thank we you, give Jesus. it to you. Hallelujah. We want to show you the way Praise God. to Jesus. Hallelujah. The way to Father God there no Almighty. There is no other way. Except through Jesus except Christ. Except through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Salvation is beautiful. Hallelujah. Salvation is Amen. so beautiful. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm in love with Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I am so in love with Jesus. Jesus mm. says, come unto me, yes. all you that labor and mm. are heavy laden, Amen. and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. I will give you rest. Come mm. to Jesus this morning. Yes. Come to Jesus this morning, mm. all you that labor and are heavy laden. Hallelujah. Amen. My yoke is easy and my yes. burden is light. Mm. Come to Jesus Come this morning. Come to Jesus. Build Amen. upon the rock this Amen. morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm.
Amen. Uh, uh, I just love this. Uh, Unati says, to me, my son just said you can go through God, through prayer. <laughs> <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> so we still go through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Amen. Now, those who build upon the rocks, Amen. they hear the word of God. They hear the gospel and make it the foundation Amen. for their lives. Hallelujah. They make it a foundation mm -hmm. for their lives. Yeah, lies. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, here again, uh, the message is very clear. Mm. The message is very clear. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. You see. There is no salvation in any other. Mm. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, Which whereby must, we must be saved. saved. Hallelujah. Except the name of Jesus. of Jesus. Yes. Build this morning. Mm. Beloved, build this morning. Amen. On this powerful name, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, people are preaching here too. <laughs> no. Big boy. Acts chapter Amen. 16 and verse 31. Amen. And this is Paul and Silas when, 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 when the, the chains have just broke off of their, their hands and feet mm. and the prison doors mm. were opened in the midnight hour when they were singing hymns, mm. praising and praying to God. Amen. When the Philippian jailer Amen. wanted to kill himself, they said, Sir, do yourself no Amen. harm. We are all here. And he asked them a profound question. What must I do to be saved? Oh, yes. And they said to him... Mm. Uh, believe on the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. and thou shall be saved in thy house. Mm. Hallelujah. Believe, believe hallelujah. on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, I, I just love that parable mm. of the two builders. Mm. You can choose to close your ears to the gospel of Jesus. Yes. Or you can open up your ears and apply the gospel mm. unto your life and build on firm foundation. foundation. There is no other way to heaven except through Jesus Christ. Amen. And I love what Paul and Silas said. Amen. They said, believe on the Lord mm. and you shall be saved with your family. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. Amen. 1 Corinthians Chapter 3, verse 11. For other foundation can no man lay that, than that is laid, Amen. which is Jesus Christ. Amen. There is no other foundation. Ah, I don't know how, how much we can, we can get this going. This here seals the deal, Pastor Pinky. Yes. First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 11. For other foundation can no man lay than the one that is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. First Corinthians? Uh, chapter 3 and verse 11. Amen. Hallelujah. It is as clear as daylight. Mm. The foundation is there. The foundation is Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, moving forward as a believer, as a disciple, as a follower of Jesus Christ, let us build on firm foundation. Let us build on Jesus Christ. Christ, Hallelujah. not in our own strength, not in our own ability. Therefore, the Bible also speaks, you know, uh, uh, about, about, about uh, um, not by might, nor by power, yes. but by my spirit. spirit. It is never in our own ability that we can get things done oh, yes. in our walk with the Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to look lastly at the consequences. We're going to consider the consequences. We've just looked at the, at the comparisons. We, we have considered the contrasts. Now we're going to consider the consequences of one who builds on sand and one who builds on the rock. There are consequences of choosing not to hear the gospel. Sure. There are consequences of not mm. accepting Jesus Christ yes. as your Lord and, and your Savior. Savior. And Amen. people never want to hear that mm. out there. But mm. the reality is there are consequences of choosing are not to receive yeah. Jesus Christ. Amen. The house that was built on the sand could not face the, the, the withering judgment of God. And it collapsed 
Sure. Jesus said, and great was the fall of it. Amen. This means that the house was utterly destroyed. Mm. Mm. There was nothing left to show for the life lived within it. Mm. There was nothing left of hopes, dreams, plans, efforts, works, or anything. Amen. Everything was destroyed mm. and swept away Amen. as if it had never mm. existed. Mm. That's what happens when we build on sand, and Jesus said it with his words, mm. with his own mouth, that mm. that house that we are building without him, that house mm. that we are building without his strength, mm. it will fall mm. and great shall be the fall of that house. Amen. That is the consequence mm. of not accepting the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. My goodness. Hallelujah. This is a picture, Pastor Pinky, of what will happen to every person who built their life on anything but Jesus Christ and the gospel. Yes. There is coming a day of judgment. If we don't build right, there is coming a day when every person will face God. People who are trusting religion, people who are trusting good works, some, some prayer they prayed, some, some emotional experience they had, some profession they made, mm. or anything else, will see the house they have built crumble. We have to make sure that the foundation is Jesus. Finish and clear. Finish and clear. Mm. Oh, help us, Lord. The Bible says, he that has the son has life. Mm. He that has the son has life. Mm. And he that, that, that does not have the son does, does not, not have, have God. Yes. Beloved, <laughs> it's what we do with the gospel. We can, we can hear it this morning mm. and just turn a blind eye mm. and just live your life according to how you want to live the gospel on your own terms. Jesus at your own terms. No. Let us build on, on the firm foundation, Amen. the word of God. You know, the word of God, it, it, it rebukes, mm. it, it brings Correct. correction. Mm. You know, it, it, we must apply that word. We must allow God to do a work and in train, our lives. We must us. allow him. Mm. The house that was built on the rock experienced the same storm. The rain, the flood, and the wind Amen. beat upon the house that was built on the rock. Mm. The word beat, it means to strike, mm. to better. Mm. This house was bettered, mm. but it stood against the storm that was thrown against it. Amen. This house might have been shaken, mm. but it did not fall. Amen. It did not fall. fall. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It stood on a firm foundation mm. and it weathered the storm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Again, this house stood because it was built on the word of God mm. and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. This house stood because the builder dug deep and built it on something greater than himself. Sure. Ah, this is beautiful. This builder built his house on the finished work of the Lord mm. Jesus Christ. Amen. This builder believed the gospel. Amen. This builder building on the rock understood that Jesus died for his sins. Amen. And that he rose from the dead. Mm. And that Jesus had the power to save anyone yes. who would believe on him. Hallelujah. According to scripture, believe mm. on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved, you and your household. I want to urge you this morning, beloved, in our walk with Jesus, the storms will come just like the man who was building or who had built on sand. The storms will come, but let us take our salvation seriously. Let us take our salvation seriously. The Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear. With reverencing God, holy mm. fear. Mm. Lord, I don't want to let you down. Mm. Lord, I don't want to do anything to grieve you. Mm. Lord, I don't want to break your heart mm. by the sin that I'm still busy doing. Yo, yo, yo. 20 years later, mm. you cannot let go. Yo. Allow the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says it divides between bone and marrow. Yes. Allow the word mm. to cut through you today. 
and to remove the chaff and mm. the dross in oh. your life. Mm. Believe unto the Lord Jesus. Believe the word. Believe the gospel of salvation. Oh. Believe that Jesus died for you. Yeah. Believe that he rose from the dead mm. and live according to the statutes of the Lord. Hallelujah. Live according to the law mm. of the Lord. Mm. The Bible says you will make your ways prosperous, prosperous. and successful Amen. when we obey mm. the commandments of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Mm. We cannot be loose cannons no. in the kingdom of God. Mm -mm. Sunday, we, 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 we shout hallelujah. But Monday, it's a different tune. Mm. We cannot do that. Mm. We cannot. I refuse in the name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Evangelist has to, has to do his job this morning. Amen. I have to make sure that we, we go to heaven. Mm. And there is a way to heaven <laughs> if we abide in Jesus. Amen. And if we abide in the laws mm. of our Lord, yes. there is no loose cannons in the kingdom. No, it's true. No there, way. There's no loose no cannons. No way. We, we, we subject ourselves. Amen. We subject ourselves Amen. to the Lordship of Jesus. of Jesus Christ. He's the mm. master. Mm. And the more you tell yourself that Jesus is your master, mm. you will become... You know, you, you, you will subject yourself. It will be easier. It will be easier to mm. submit. Yes. To submit under his lordship. But people just want to do their own thing, Pastor Pinky. That's the problem. The more you try to steer them towards the right thing, people just want to do their like own thing. Like goats. Come to church. No, no, Pastor. Don't tell me to come to church, Pastor. Read the word. No, Pastor. <laughs> I'm not going to read the word. Can we pray? No, Pastor. I'm not going to come to intercession. Pastor. Right, right at the beginning of the year <laughs> of, of 2021, um, I, I initiated oh, a, a, a scripture reading yeah. challenge. Yeah. Using uh, the Read Scripture app. Yeah, the Bible app. The Bible app. The yeah. Read Scripture app. And what um, happened? I, I, you see, <laughs> you tell people to go this way. Let's read the together. Yeah. Let's read the yeah. Bible. Yeah. The whole Bible this year. And I am still reading, I'm still going through that, yeah. that app, I'm behind, yeah. but I am still Amen. reading. Keep on, keeping on. I am don't keeping quit. on. Don't quit. I will not quit. Yeah. I, I don't know how many uh, are, still, are reading. still reading who yeah. are still there with me <laughs> because we started on the 1st of January, 2021. Yeah. So... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So yes. people of God, let, we let, must. let us keep the main thing, the main thing. <laughs> you know, let us not waver. We the, Bible, the Bible says we must not look to the left nor the right. Amen. You know, let, let's, let's, let's keep our eyes fixed yes. on, on Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes. We have to. We have to. Mm. Now, in, in conclusion this morning, Pastor Pinky, mm. uh, uh, um, we are building a spiritual house. All yes, of us, we are yes. building a spiritual house. And uh, this word was really to encourage us this mm. morning to Amen. build on that firm foundation, Amen. which is the word of the Lord. Mm. You know, uh, make sure that you eat the scroll. Make sure Amen. that you read the word mm. of God for yourself and mm. build very strong. Sandra says that I pray that we do not become only the hearers of the word, but also be the doers of God's word. I pray for the word to transform Amen. us. Absolutely. Amen. We need the word of God to bring Amen. about a change in, in, our, in our own personal lives. Amen. We are building spiritual spiritual houses. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, if you've realized today that you are building on the wrong foundation, if you realize, you know, out of this message today, if you feel that you've been building on wrong foundation, you can change today. It's never late because the, the thing is we accept Jesus Christ, but we don't follow him. That's what, that's what, that's the whole message of today. We have accepted Jesus. We, we you know, we, we, we've said the sinner's prayer and we go to church, yes. but we don't follow him. You know, you, roots. Yeah, you, you, you just go to church on Sunday. Mm. You belong to a church, but mm. you don't really live out your Christianity. That so, is why the word yeah. of God says that a tree is known by its it's fruit. It's known by its fruit. By its fruit. Absolutely. Mm. So if you realize today that you are building on the wrong foundation, you can change today. It's oh, never late. Oh, yeah. You can change. You can approach the throne of grace boldly yes. this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Expecting God mm. to answer you. Amen. Isn't that powerful? It's very powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. You can come to Jesus this morning. Mm. He will save you mm. and he will will help you to get Amen. started with building on solid foundation Hallelujah. today, the right foundation. Amen. So don't ignore what I'm saying right now. Mm. If you realize this morning mm. that you've been building on wrong foundation, yes. don't ignore that. 
Mm. Change today. Amen. And allow Jesus to help you build on the right, right foundation. foundation. Amen. The storm will come. If your house is right and is built on solid ground, when Amen. that storm comes, Amen. only the house that will stand is the house built on the rock. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise mm. the Lord. Come to Jesus this morning. Amen. Come to Jesus. Mm. I want to pray for us Thank today. I want to pray for us. Thank if we Jesus. have neglected the word of the Lord, mm. if we have neglected our salvation according to the word of God, that we must work it out. Yes. There's work to be put in, in, in our own salvation. Yes. We must make sure that we are laboring yes. to keep our salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. The, the, the Bible says that, that our enemy, our adversary mm. is like a roaring lion seeking mm. whom he you can devour. devour. He wants to mm. kill you. According to the word of the Lord, he mm. wants to annihilate you. Yes. He wants to take your life out. Mm. So it is important that as we stay on the word of the Lord, like David said, your word is, is, is a lamp unto my, my feet. feet. Allow God to direct your life Amen. today. Build on the word of the Lord this morning and Amen. live out your salvation. Amen. Be an ambassador Amen. for the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for us here this morning Amen. that if we've been building wrong, that the Lord will give us the grace this morning to yes. have a change, yes. a total turnaround oh, in our lives. Oh, yes. Life. A total turnaround because, you know, we can be blinded mm. by the enemy. Yes. You've surrendered your yes. life to Jesus. Yes. But you are not serving the Lord. You are not walking with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us change Vazalwani. Let us change Vazalwani. Mm. Uh, I remember my pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Sherwin Haynes. I miss him so much. <laughs> he, he would put it so well in Zulu and say, uh, Kutuga, Kutuga Mzalwani, Kutuga meaning Mzalwani. change. Mm. Change. How long will you be on this path? How long will you say you serve God, but you're not serving him? Yo. Oh. Change Yo. this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we pray this morning that we will change in the name of Jesus. But it is only through your grace, Father, that we can see the, 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 the transformation in our lives, Father. You said in your word, we must not conform to the standards of this world, but renew our minds by your word. Father, this morning, we choose your word above everything else, Father. We prioritize your word in the name of Jesus. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. For you have the ability, Father, to change any impossible situation. Therefore, even this morning, we give ourselves over to you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Come and do a work mm. in our lives today. Yes, Come Lord. and circumcise our hearts, Father. Remove the stony heart, Father. Give us a, a, a heart of flesh this morning. In the name of Jesus, make our hearts supple, Father. Make our hearts soft, Father. In the name of Jesus, to receive the gospel, let your word fall on fertile ground this morning. Let it bear much fruit, Father, in the lives of your people. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you today. There will be a turnaround in our lives. Those of us, Father, who have chosen to go the opposite way, we are coming back home today. Just like the prodigal son, when he chose to make right, Father, he received grace, Father. I pray this morning when we recognize that we have been in a far country, I pray today there will be a change in our hearts. Yes. There will be evident change in our lives. That, Father, we will live out our salvation for everybody to see. Our light will shine. You said, Father, we are the salt and the light. We are like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. I pray, Father, that we will live out our Christianity without reservation, without holding anything back, Father, in the name of Jesus. Therefore, we pray for your grace this morning to come upon our lives, Father, to bring about a change, a total Total transformation in our lives. And I, I pray, Father, for deliverance this morning. Yes. Deliver your people this yes. morning. Those that are still bound by demonic spirits. Yes. I, I break every, every form of demonic activities yes. in your life in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of oppression yes. over your life and anxiety. We break its power this morning in the name of Jesus. I declare you free this morning. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Salvation comes to your home. Sal salvation comes in your family today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for deliverance, Lord. 
Thank you for setting us free, Father, from the snare of the fowler, from the shackles and the chains of the enemy. Thank you for setting us free. Thank you for the gospel, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you this morning. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Jesus, you are still the Messiah. You are still the King of Kings. And this morning we declare that we love you, Lord. We are not ashamed of you. We love you, Jesus, for dying on the cross of Calvary for every single one of us. Now, because of you, our Lord and Savior, we can spend eternity with you when you return for your bride. In the name of Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus. We are not ashamed. We love you, Lord Jesus. You are the king of our hearts. You are the king of our lives. We love you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are a lover of Jesus, just drop a heart right now. Amen. Just drop a heart right now if you are in love with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Thank you. You know, Lord. I love it whenever we come back to the basics. <laughs> the gospel. The gospel. The gospel. I, I, I truly, truly, truly love it. Amen. When we come uh, 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 um, back to the basics mm. and preach the gospel mm. that will save people. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Carrie Lee, I see the heart. Wise man, Akim, thank you for joining. I see all of your hearts there. The Lord bless you. Sandra Q, thank you. Praise the Lord. Isabel de Govea, how are you doing, Isabel? I hope all is well with you and your family. The Lord bless you, Isabel. Hallelujah. Mulman, where's Mulman? <laughs> where's Babs? Rachel, where is Fifi? Where is Unati? Yeah. Ah, Sandra says, pure, clean, undiluted gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Family, we love you so much. Amen. We love you so much. It's always such a privilege and an honor Amen. to be with you in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Really to build each other up. To build each other up. Amen. Hallelujah. Balisa says love. Hallelujah. <laughs> Isabel says please pray for Kerry. Let us pray for Kerry right now. Father, in Amen. the name of Jesus, we pray for Kerry. We cover her in the blood of, of Jesus. Jesus. We come against every plan, yes. every, 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 device mm. of the enemy against Lord. carry in the yes, name of Lord. jesus yes, father i pray that your will will be done Amen. in carry's life i pray Amen. for the purposes of god to be made manifest over carry's life in the name of jesus i speak the peace of god over carry this morning in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus father i pray for a turnaround in the life of carry a turnaround what the enemy intended for evil you will turn it around for, for carries good, good this morning. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Uh, Fifi says, I'm here, Pastor T. Uh, uh, Babs, I see you. She says, I'm listening. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Amen. We're almost there. We're almost there. Two more days. T-G-I-F. <laughs> you know, I love it, man. Weeks go so quickly. Amen. Time passes. You know, amen. but as long as we are keeping our eyes amen. fixed on Jesus. When he returns, he will find us still having faith in our yes. bones. Yes. Will having I find faith? faith. That's, that's what the, will I faith. find faith? And when he comes, that's mm. why we are doing this thing every, every day. day. When Hallelujah. Jesus we must still have faith in our bones Hallelujah. when Jesus returns comes. for us. Hallelujah. Mm. Family, we love you. God bless you. Enjoy this Wednesday. Uh, Yvonne, uh, bless you. Thank bless you for joining. You. Palisa, Isabel. Uh, 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 both Isabel's, Bob's, Unati, uh, Siabonga, all of you guys, we love you. Maria. We bless you. Maria, Cancun, yes. Mexico, Sandra. Sandra Q. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Wise men, all of you guys, we love you. God bless Thank you. you We're going to see each other tomorrow morning, morning. 6 a.m. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. But remember, once again, let us fill up the house of the Lord on Sunday morning, 10 a.m., number 32, Yech Road, oh, yes. here in Montana. Oh, or yes. you can just Google Butter Boys. Yes. We cannot wait to be in the house of the Lord with you. We I can cannot. guarantee you now. Hallelujah. It's going down. Hallelujah. It's going down this Sunday, 10 a.m. Going up. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Enjoy your day today. We love you with the love of Christ. I am mm -hmm. Evangelist Tabo Mahasani, your favorite evangelist together with the beautiful African queen, Pastor Amen. Pinky. Amen. We'll spot you tomorrow, 6 a.m. Hallelujah.